This animation illustrates an S-polarized plane wave incident upon an interface between two media. The first medium has index 1, and the second medium has index 1.5. Notice that the wavelength is shorter in the higher index material, where the phase velocity is lower. This ensures that the same number of wave fronts transmit through the interface as arrive. On the left, we have been observing the incident wave only. Here is the reflected wave. Again, the incident wave. We change the incident angle to 10 degrees. Twenty degrees. Thirty degrees. Forty degrees. Fifty degrees. Snell's law is apparent. Here is the reflected wave. The reflected amplitude has increased. And now both waves. 60 degrees. 70 degrees. 80 degrees. eighty-nine degrees. Notice that the wave in the second material does not exceed the critical angle, in this case about forty-two degrees. Back to normal incidence. We now set the first index to 1.5 and the second index to 1. 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 43 degrees. This is about one degree beyond the critical angle for total internal reflection. The evanescent wave in the second material is apparent.